Okay. What is this? Uh huh. And what is the Bible? Okay. And what does this uh, tell us? Alright, did a little better this time, Jason. Okay, I want to talk to you all about a parable that Jesus told. Okay? This is the parable in Matthew 18 about the lost sheep. He says, See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I tell you, that in heaven their angels always see the face of my Father who is in heaven. What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains and go in search of the one that went astray? And if he finds it, truly I say to you, he rejoices over it more than over the ninety-nine that never went astray. So, It is not the will of my Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. So Jesus is telling this story, this parable, about a man who has a hundred sheep. Any of y'all ever seen a hundred sheep? That's a lot of sheep. What what do y'all know about sheep? They have hearts. They have have wool. Uh Uh-huh. What else? Wool, yeah, you, you can use wool to make clothing and blankets and things. Okay, so that's what sheep can give us is wool. But what else do you know about them? Huh? They need a shepherd. They need a shepherd. Why do they need a shepherd? To look, out for them. to look out for them, to take care of them. Do they have sharp teeth? No. No, so they can't bite their enemies. Can they run really fast? No. No, they're kind of little stubby things. are not like elephants, grand with tusks and rawr, it's not like that. They're not like tigers, these beautiful stripes and no, they're just kind of smart and kind of slow and they, they can't help themselves. They need a shepherd. So here is a man who has a hundred of them, a hundred not that intelligent sheep. And one of them goes astray. What does that mean, to go astray? Goes on its own. And the shepherd says, follow me, right? But what did this sheep do? It went, it didn't listen to the shepherd. It went its own way. And then what did the sheep do? It went its own way and it got into trouble. It got into danger. Maybe it's stuck on the side of a mountain and it's scared. Maybe it's surrounded by wolves. Maybe it fell into a ditch. It's lost. It's in danger. And what does this shepherd do? He has, a, he has 99. He needs one. Ah, he, they'll, be, they'll be babies, right? Why does he go after this one sheep? It's not because he's smart. Because he loves the sheep. He risks his own life to go after the sheep because he loves the sheep. Not because of what the sheep can do for him but because he loves the sheep. Well, children, Jesus is telling this parable about us. He is the good shepherd and he comes after you. You are like that lost sheep and you've gone astray. Do you obey everything that God tells you to do? Do you even obey everything your parents tell you to do? Let alone God. You've gone astray. You've gone your own way. And now maybe you are in trouble. Maybe, maybe because you've gone your own way, you get yourself in trouble. Maybe you've disobeyed your parents. You did something you shouldn't have. You've taken something you shouldn't have. Maybe you got some spankings waiting for you when you get home. When you go your own way, you get yourself in trouble. But not just with us as parents. But with God, you've disobeyed Him. You've sinned against Him. And God could just say, you know what? You made that mess. I'm going to leave you there. I have 99 who are doing what I want them to do. But that's not what He did. The Father sent His Son to risk His life. Not just risk His life, but to give His life. 
He died so that you, as a lost sheep, could be brought back. And then what does he say? He says, when one sheep, that one sheep that was disobedient is found, what does the shepherd do? He rejoices. It's not as though, you know, somebody says, hey, go over there and bring me a glass of water. And you're like, I don't really want to do this. That's not what he did. He was glad. He rejoiced. He had a smile. His heart was pounding. I found my lost sheep. He was so happy. You know what this means, children? It means that you can make God happy. You can make God rejoice. How? By coming to Him, by trusting in His Son, by turning from going your own way, which gets you surrounded by wolves and on the side of cliffs, and coming into the arms of the One who's looking for you, who loves you, and will rejoice. Jesus is so good. Follow Him. Father, thank You that You would give us such a story which is true, that You come after us when we're running away from You. I pray, Lord, that these children would see the love of the Good Shepherd who would come after them even in their sin and rejoice when they come in. In Jesus' name, Amen.